Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to do Harley Quinn. Now it's going to be a little bit different. I'm going to do my moisturizer and stuff off camera and primer off camera, but we're doing a transition video on TikTok as well. So I just did the first part. Then after that, after I'm done with my face, I will do the last part and then I'll come back and show you what my face looks like. So we're going to do the old school Harley Quinn, a little bit of a twist. Um, basically we're going to do an outline of the triangles above my eye and below my eye on both sides, but the opposite colors. So like red will be here, black and red circle, and then black circle, and then black and black right here, and then red up here. So we're going to paint my whole face white, but we're going to do the outlines of the, um, triangles first. Um, I'm hoping... I don't run into the problem because I don't have another paintbrush. I might have an extra one laying around. I will look um, that I can do black and red. So I'm going to see if I have another one laying around, which I think I do because I do paint. So I'm going to see if I have another one just kind of laying about. Um, but I'm going to do the... Sorry, my ring light is in you guys' face. Like, so in your face. There we go. Um... But we're also going to do a black eye look and a red eye look and then mascara and all that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish making the sweet tea that I've been making. Um, and then I'll be back and then I'll pin my eyebrow, my hair, my, I'll brush my hair, pin my bangs back. So I'll section them like this and then I'll just pin them back with bobby pins. Um... I think I got my Bobby's pins somewhere, and then we'll do the makeup. So, be right back, guys. Okay, I put my hair up in pigtails. I pinned my hair back um, in, you know, what do you call it? Bobby pins. Um, that's what I use in my hair. And I use the rubber band. I can show you, because um, I know somebody's going to ask what elastics I use. I use the non-metal elastics the um this brand from walmart it's the 250 they're only a box something at walmart buckle five at walmart um i only use those when i'm doing my makeup um we're gonna do my eyes off camera um but we're gonna use the shade weirdo and the shade screen queen um scene queen um, but first we're going to use my Touch and Soul Glossy Skin Balm. I always use this when I use special effects makeup. Because it sticks and my skin doesn't get breakout or anything like that. So we're going to use this. Oh. So what is everybody going to be for Halloween? I am not sure what I'm going to be for Halloween. Uh, I know one day I'm going to be, because my dog's going to go trick or treating. Um... So, I know she's going to be a stegosaurus, so I'm trying to figure out what to go with that, because it's a glowing stegosaurus. I got that, we got that from my mother-in-law. Um, so I'm just going to prime my skin like crazy, so that makeup can stick to something. I'm going to get a makeup wipe. I don't have my baby wipes in here. My baby wipes are in our bedroom. But I thought I would do this because this is one of my favorites. The old school Harley Quinn from the TV show. Not from the movies that everybody thinks and associates with. Um, I like her, but I like the old school better. So. And we don't have... We're just going... Because she's normally, she's normally got brown hair. So we're just going with it. Um, so we're going to block out my eyebrows. If I can get it off. Hold on. Since we are painting my eye whole face white, I have to flatten down my eyebrows so I use a glue stick. It's just a regular school washable glue stick. You don't want to use um, craft glue because this will, craft glue will not work. You want to use Elmer's washable school glue stick. It's just purple and it dries clear. So you're just going to put it on your eyebrows to flatten down your eyebrows as you paint your face because you want those flat you want your hairs to be flat I learned this trick from several 
content creators that I've watched that do special effects makeup and you want them flat as possible. Just going over it with the glue stick. My mirror is right off to the side, so if you notice me looking in my mirror, it's because I want to make sure I'm getting those hairs glued down in place. It's like that. It looks terrifying, but trust the process. It will work. I promise. And just taking this off is going to be so satisfying. Um, so I'm going to paint my face real quick. Um, first, I'm going to go off camera and do my eyes real quick. And then my mascara, and then I'll be back. So just give me a second. So I'm going to use the Weirdo palette to get the black and the red shade. And then I'm going to do mascara, and I'll be right back. Okay, so the glue is now dry. Um, I went in with Glamour Shot, this white one up here in this pa weirdo palette. And then I'm going to go in with the red. So black's going on this side, red's going to go on this side, and then vice versa with the triangles. So, um, yeah, just bear with me as I'm going through this. This is the first time I'm doing, like, a full in-depth look so there's gonna be a lot of pausing a lot of me going off camera and doing the rest of the look so just bear with me as i'm going through this okay um but yeah we're gonna get this done and i will be right back and i'll show you the eyes and then we'll start painting so that's the eyeshadow doesn't have to be perfect she's not perfect like it's crazy it's funky it's fine But I'm gonna add a little bit more in that corner. There we go. So this is the eye look I came up with. I think Scream Queen is trying to escape. Scene Queen is trying to escape a little bit. Ah! Okay, we're gonna shadow switch that like so, and then I'm gonna do mascara off camera, and then we're gonna do the eyeliner, and then we'll be right back. Trying to put everything away that I know I'm done with so I don't have to worry about it. So I'll be right back. Alright, so I just did my mascara. So I used the Better Mascara and then my Stila Stay All Day Smudge Proof Waterproof Eyeliner. I just put it in my waterline. I love my stick waterproof liners. I don't know what is going on with this black. It's driving me nuts. But it's fine. We're just smudge it a little bit um don't think it's the white because I've set my eye set with that white before so I don't think it's the white um but yeah we're gonna do the outlines real quick and I will be right back and we will paint the face so give me a second okay so I have the outlines um, the glue really helped. You can see the black in both the red and the black, both in my eyelash and my eyeshadows. The eyeliner is driving my uh, one eye completely nuts, and I don't know why. But I've worn eyeliner before, so it's driving my nuts. My eyes a little bit bonky because I haven't worn it in a while. But we're going to paint my face white. We're going to take this brush. We're going to paint my face white. We're going to dip into my palette. We're committed now. We got good book. So we're gonna I'm gonna paint my whole face white and then I will be back and I will finish the outlines of the triangles. This one doesn't look like a little triangle. It's kind of wonky. I don't know why, but I'll fix it off camera. Just got the whole entire face painted white. Um now we're gonna fill in the circles and the triangles. So I'm gonna do the red first. I want to get this done as fast as possible because my eyes starting to water and it's not going to be pleasant. Because then the makeup will start running off my face.
Now, don't come for me because I didn't do face mask or anything like that. I didn't want to. I wanted to play off on her costume that she wears that's red and black. So, that's what I did. Harley Quinn is one of my favorite Batman villains. Um... The old school one. Like, she's like my favorite. So, we'll do this. And then we'll do the black. And then I will pause it, do my transition on my TikTok, come back and finish the final look. Show you guys the final look. So, I'm going to get this red done on the camera. And then I'm going to do the black. And then I'll do my transition on my TikTok. So. Bear with me as I do this, because this is really hard to do with my left hand, my right hand. Alright, so there's the red. Now I will pause the camera, do the black, and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. So I'll be right back. So this is my little Harley Quinn look I came up with. I did the pigtails earlier, painted my face. The glue actually really helped hold down my eyebrows. Um, but yeah, this is what I came up with. A little like Harley Quinn moment. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be posting the transition video on my TikTok as well as you know, posting it on here as well as a short. So just stay tuned for that. I'm going to take some pictures and then put a video on there saying, okay, it's time to take this off. Um, so I'll probably do that. And then, yeah. Well, I hope you guys have a great day or night, wherever you may be. And I will see you tomorrow for the next Halloween look, which I believe will be an orange and yellow look. Hold on. Let me look up the name. We are back. So I realized when I was staring at the camera with you guys, I forgot to put my Supreme Gloss on in the shade Wifey. So that's what I did. Off camera. But yeah, it's a little brick red. It goes with the look. It goes with Harley Quinn. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you have a great day or night, wherever you may be. I am going to take some photos of this great look and then I'm going to do a on Get Ready With Me video. So basically I'm going to do videos saying I did had fun doing this video on my YouTube channel, on my TikTok, and enjoy coming off. So I will be doing that shortly. Okay, bye guys.